film that uh, we are about to see tonight, Kenny Sharp, uh, When Worlds Collide. I don't know how many of you used to live in the East Village when Keith Haring and Jean-Michel Basquiat and Kenny Sharp were it. <laughs> and I was there and I just totally loved those three artists. And when I first saw the film, I saw it over a year ago, as a matter of fact. It was not quite ready then. But right there and then, I wanted to bring it to the Woodstock Film Festival because I love the work of Kenny Sharp. And it was, the film was made by his daughter, Malia Sharp, and her <laughs> partner, Max Bash. Both of them are here tonight. Hello, Malia and Max. <laughs> All right. We got family, we got, we got family in the house. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't pay them. This <laughs> no. no, we didn't pay. Thank you so much for having us. Well, it's on. Yes, yes it's on. <laughs> <laughs> and so thank you for thank you for being with us. So um, I want to talk to you a little bit about the genesis of the film. I mean, obviously, y Malia, you know the subject quite well. You grew up with him. Um, I know that it's it's a film that has been in the making now for quite a few years. Can you talk a little bit about when you first began to work w on a film and possibly is it, is it now, is the film that we have now what you have dreamt about and thought it would be say 10 years ago when you first began working on it? Yeah, I do actually feel like it has come to the place that feels right for the film and um, it was uh, such a journey. Um, I was 20, I think I was 21 or 20 when I said, I want to make a film about my father because he was always very inspiring and actually the community that he had was always something that I really wanted for myself and that I wanted to um, kind of learn more about and explore. And so that was, that was part of what made me so inspired um, to begin the journey and then I just had no idea what really went into making this type of film and doing it really what I felt well, like, you know, paying my respect to my father and his story. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Max, I could not have done it with Max because <laughs> it got to a certain point that I, yeah, I needed his, his help. And so. So in what way, Max, did when, when you became involved with the film, in what way did you, did you participate? Uh, how would you describe your part of the making of the film? Uh, I mean, how would I describe my part of making the film? Uh, I mean, we, it, Malia and I really made the film like kind of single-handedly together. It was a very uh, sort of grueling, long process. But like, you know, Malia over the years had accumulated all of this material. And she kind of introduced me to the world. I, I didn't know much about Kenny Sharp prior to meeting her. So, but yeah, I mean, we uh, we just sat with it for a long time and just started kind of like taking stabs at an edit um, without really much support in the beginning. It was just kind of using a lot of the archival and seeing if we could get a little traction. And then and then we kind of just the two of us just sort of spearhead the the mission. Yeah, like ten years later, <laughs> but really. No, the, the last four years, yeah, together. And so, so the last four years, um, did you spend most of that time in the edit room at that point or still raising money? I mean, what, was, what were the challenges in the last four years? Um, yeah, w the editing room, the writing the story, and then shooting a bit more. And truthfully, w we did this like r when I say when he said like we did it just single handedly us <laughs> like we did mostly the film with no money till till t until the end. Um, so that was also a challenge, you know, being first time filmmakers and trying to get that support and my father being kind of an underdog as well. I mean, now it's been s he's had such a long career, so he's in a different place. But yeah, so. Yeah, we, we kind of like, it was, a, it was a lot in the edit room. We, we sat with it initially in the beginning and, and put together a push to create like a 10 minute cut. And then after that, we were able to raise a little bit of money that then afforded us the ability and time to sit with it for really seriously and devote like a lot of time to it um, after that initial little round that we raised. And, th and then, yeah, and then it was dry for a long time until we eventually, uh, 
you know, by the by the luck, uh, by this, we eventually were able to get over the hurdle. But yeah, it took some time. Well, I mean, I'm glad that it you took your time to work on the film because the the, the final pro product that you're about to see is really really beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I can't wait to share it with everyone. I yeah, I'm so happy. I want to. So I know that uh, your father Kenny has seen the film. Uh, and I think he lives in California. So can you talk a little bit about his reaction to the film? And maybe you can also share with us what's, what he's working on these days, uh, if anything. Um, yeah, so, I, you know, Kenny's very in his own world and just like obsessed with painting and his grandchildren, I mean, his family. But he saw the film and he was like, wow, it's good. <laughs> I'm like, that's it? <laughs> um, after 10 years, but he, he was proud and I think he, he felt, he's very critical actually and he, I think he gave his approval. Um, so that felt great to, um, yeah, pay respect in that way that he, fe he felt good about it. And then he just never stops painting. Um, yeah. And he, you know, is always just, he uses trash and he's painting people's cars and he's just doing his thing. He yeah. just never stops. So he's still doing that. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, I mean, Woodstock is an artist community. It's the colony of the arts. So I hope that uh, our audience will enjoy and appreciate Kenny Sharp uh, when words collide. And I hope that uh, the film will... Um, I know that you have Dan Braun and David Cobb uh, behind the film, and these are mover and shakers when it comes to documentary film world. Um, before we watch the film, can you share a little bit about what the future is looking like? Do you wanna? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're, we're still, uh, what does the future look like in terms of distribution? Yeah. Yeah, like, you know, we have definitely um, some potential distributors. Uh, you know, the film is still, looking for a home in terms of like a streaming service but like it seems it's ready to be seen now yeah so it's we're, we're, we're ready hey world <laughs> like pick it up and let's share okay. with okay. We got little bites we got little nibbles for sure let's make it happen for them <laughs> all right well on that, on that note thank you malia and thank you max so much for being with us and joining us and thank you guys for be, uh, joining us here this evening. Enjoy the movie. It's really beautiful. And um, see you again another night, another film um, throughout the film festival. Thank you again very much. Good night. Rock and roll.